Welcome to my studio. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today in the reveal and makeover video for my studio space up in the attic of our new home. So in case you are new here, uh, my husband and I just bought this home a couple of months ago and we have been slowly working on renovating all of it, redecorating, making it our own. I make YouTube videos in a professional capacity. I usually make sewing content. So this is my designated workspace. Before we moved to this home, my husband and I lived in a very small apartment and I always worked in the living room, which meant that when I had a project going, we didn't have a living room, we only had sewing space. <laughs> and I'm very glad to now have a designated space where I can make a mess, be creative, and then close the door at the end of the day and just go about my normal life without being confronted with my creative chaos all the time. It is a huge luxury to have this space. And I am so, so, so happy to have that now and I cannot wait to get started on working in here and to start creating again. But first, today, the reason why we're all here is the makeover video. So let me take you way back to when we just bought the house and our empty home tour. So this is what the attic originally looked like. The previous owners of this house really enjoyed DIYing and uh, doing up the home on their own. So a lot that was here was done by the previous owners. And some of the elements in the house did look a little bit homemade, which uh, I personally find really charming. So this space had this lovely built-in cabinet with lots of little doors and I absolutely loved it. I fell in love with this the first time I saw it. But it had this carpet that really wasn't our taste. It had these lovely beams that I absolutely fell in love with as well. And pretty much as soon as we saw the house online, even before we came to look at it, we knew that this would be the perfect place to make my studio space. So the plan was originally to do this room first so that I could continue working while we were renovating the rest of the house. Um, so one of the first things I did when we went we got the keys was I ripped out the carpet and underneath the carpet I found this vinyl, this red vinyl, which we fairly quickly discovered was made of asbestos. So that then started a lengthy and costly process of getting that first assessed and then professionally removed and everything. The whole process took weeks, but once the asbestos was finally out, we could get started on working in here and uh, start putting in our flooring. So the floor that we chose for this room is a lovely kind of mid-tone brow with a very contrasting green. I love the rustic kind of vintage -y look of it. I think that looks really, really good and goes perfectly with the vibe that I was going for. For this room, I really want it to be a very much of a traditional creative space, but with vintage elements and a little bit of a cottagey feeling. Basically, I want it to feel very old-timey and I want it to be very me. So I want to have lots of personal items everywhere, but also allow enough space for creativity. So I don't want it to be too overbearing of an interior. Something I did know I wanted to do from the get-go is to expose these wooden beams. So when we had the ceilings removed in here, we had the ceilings replaced and insulated because this is obviously right underneath the roof, so we need some insulation there. We specifically requested that they try to leave some of the beams out, and they did, and they are here. Earlier this week is actually when I decided that this room needed to be done. <laughs> So I spent all week finishing this room and the first thing I did was to finally remove the paint off of these beams. So I used a heat gun and a scraper and it took the better part of a day, honestly. I was hoping to paint the walls on the same day, but no way that was going to happen. It was hard work, <laughs> let me tell you that. I scraped all the paint off and then I sanded the beams. My muscles are still sore from that days later now, but it was so worth it because they look amazing. They bring so much character into the room and I love just seeing that old wood. And this is actually a structural part of our home, which I think is really cool. Eventually I am gonna treat this one and it's gonna probably be a little bit darker still. I absolutely love how it looks. And an added benefit is that since they have been exposed, I haven't bumped my head on them once. <laughs> Whereas before, a hundred times maybe, now I can see them out of the corner of my eye. After 
after exposing the beams, I went ahead and I painted the walls. So for the longest time, I was actually looking for wallpaper for this space. I had this idea in my mind of like this English cottage style wallpaper with a tiny floral print and I think that would be really really cute. Um, I was looking for something with maybe like vines or something, cream and pink or blue, kind of like soft muted colors. But in the end I actually decided against that. There isn't a lot of wall in this space, it's mostly the slanted ceilings and I think if I had just wallpapered those two walls it would have looked too busy because they are also the only walls that I can hang stuff on. So having both the wallpaper and then all of the art and everything that is on the walls would have just been a lot and I think the wallpaper would have been lost for the most part. So I decided against wallpapering and I decided to just paint everything in this slightly warm shade of white. The furniture. You guys may know I am a huge IKEA fangirl. They have the exact style that I love. I like to call it modern classic or modern traditional maybe. I absolutely adore that. This is also the room where a bunch of our old furniture ended up from our previous apartment. There are two tables in here. We moved our old dining table in here which was a bar table so it's nice and high and that is now my cutting table. So I have my cutting mat on there and nothing else and I placed it kind of in the middle of the room or at least with enough space to walk around it so that when I'm cutting big pieces of fabric I can walk around the table it's gonna serve me so well in all my creative projects and then on the other side of the room is my desk which is actually my old desk the desk that I've had since I moved out of my parents house and since it is so old it looks a little bit worse for wear it has some scratches and some bumps and it is yellowed a little bit I decided to buy this stick on vinyl in a lovely wooden print and stick that over top and it worked so well. I honestly wasn't expecting it to look this good, but it looks really convincing. <laughs> really, really love the way it looks now. I wanted to make it a wood look because I bought these wonderful table legs. And not only do they look fantastic, I love the look of these. It has these four pegs that you can use to manipulate the height of the desk. And you can, if you make the back ones higher and the front ones, you can tilt the desk and have a drawing desk. But you can also just lift it all the way up to have another standing desk. So I just paired it with my old chair, which I'm also fairly sure I've had since I moved out of my parents' house. So while we are in that corner above the desk, I have installed a pegboard. Now I was against installing a pegboard for the longest time because I feel like they often look very cluttered and I'm not a huge fan of open storage. I feel like storage should be locked away and then things that are open should be decorative. But I have to admit I was wrong. This pegboard is fantastic. <laughs> And I haven't even used it yet, I already love it so much. It holds some of my most frequently used sewing items and tools, and my scissors and my rotary cutter, my fringe curve, and it has a basket that is gonna be fantastic. A little basket that I want to use to hold pattern pieces. When I'm sewing with a pattern, I often don't really have anywhere to put the pattern pieces and I end up folding them, putting them back in the envelope and then pulling them out again. So not anymore. They're gonna go in the basket and whenever I need to reference one I can just pull it out of the basket and I'll be full them away once I'm done with the project. Oh, I cannot wait. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> so the backboard is also from Ikea. Everything, everything actually is from Ikea. Now since I also plan to use this room as an art studio, I have a set of drawers right next to my desk, which is also an old piece of furniture that I've had since I moved out. And in there I have all of my art supplies now so that they are within reach and hopefully uh, this will motivate me to draw and paint a little bit more.
the one big piece of furniture that I did buy specifically for this space is this huge chest of drawers that holds all of my sewing supplies and my fabric stash. Not my entire fabric stash, but part of my fabric stash. I love how it fits just perfectly in that little corner of the room and it gives me some space to showcase some decor but also lots and lots of storage. So this also is something that I'm just gonna have to live with for a while to see if everything works and if I need to reorganize anything but for now I'm just glad to have a space where I have all of my sewing supplies in one place as well as my fabric stash. I think it's time to address the elephant in the room. Yes, there is a new addition to my sewing machine family and it is this antique singer machine. I was gifted this machine by a lovely, lovely, lovely viewer of mine who has been watching me for a long time. She messaged me a few months back and um, eventually I went over to her place to pick up this beautiful, beautiful machine. And I am so grateful because this thing is amazing. She took really good care of it and it actually even works. So I am for sure going to try and make something on this thing. See if I can figure out how to work with it, but it, 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 should, it should work. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't believe I actually have one of these. And you will definitely be seeing more of that. But for now, it is just looking gorgeous on top of my dresser. <laughs> And then where I'm sitting right now, this is what I like to call the tea time corner. This is more of the filming studio part, I guess, of the room, um, where I have a lovely chair that I can sit in. It is wicker. I have a sheep skin to make it nice and soft and a pillow. And this is where I'm gonna film my sit down videos. We have a little bit of this exposed beam in the background and the plants, of course, and a lovely painting from my grandma. Oh, speaking of the art, by the way, in this room, I did mention that I wanted to decorate this with lots of personal items and I have done just that. The art around this room is actually really special. So the paintings are done by my grandmother. She's an artist. Pretty much all of the art around our home is made by her. And she has a very distinct style, so I'm sure you recognize it by now if you've been following me for a while. But yeah, we have loads of paintings around the house that were done by her and I have some in this room as well. This portrait. <laughs> Now, aside from it being a really nice portrait, I love the way it looks. Uh, this is actually my great-great-grandfather. This is a calendar that was made to commemorate 100 years of Egyptology in the Czech Republic. So yeah, that's him on the cover of this calendar. And <laughs> I think this is a really nice place to display it. And I think it goes great in this room. I also have a little bit of this handmade embroidery that was done by, I think my grandmother's mother or her grandma. And yeah, just lots of little things like that. But also this little frame of a postcard of a beautiful painting or drawing illustration. I guess illustration that was gifted to me by a friend years ago and I absolutely love this so that has a nice little spot over my cutting table there <laughs> I just I know already that there's gonna be loads more decoration in this space because there's a lot of decoration that we still have in boxes we haven't unpacked yet um, it's gonna make its way into this room when I first moved out of my parents house I moved into a house with a friend of mine and um, my room my bedroom was in the attic and I used to love sitting on the windowsill and looking out and reading there and I can do that again here so I decided to make a little corner where I could sit and just look out the window when I'm on break drink a little bit of tea it's gonna be lovely <laughs> there is a little room next to here it's like a storage space where I have put away some of the things that are a little bit bigger and don't really go with the aesthetic of the room <laughs> I'm very lucky to have that space to be able to do that so in there I have a clothing rack that I can use for um, fashion videos outfit stuff, things like that, but also projects that I've just recently made, um, costumes, things like that. My studio lights are in there as well as the ironing board. So all of those are hidden out of the way, but within reach, <laughs> which is fantastic. But yeah, this is it guys. This is my studio space and I couldn't be more excited.
one thing I still need to do is to make curtains of some kind because from here I can look straight into the neighbor's kids room I think across the street and they can look in here so I need something um, to hang in front of there so I think I'm gonna go for lace nice lace curtains. I'm just absolutely over the moon excited to have this space and to start using it and to start a new sewing project and I am going to do that next week. I can't wait. It, it has been so long. Oh and especially for you guys, I did replace the railing by the stairs. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're excited to see sewing content and other more making stuff as well as some more house updates because I will still be doing those. Although I'll probably move that more towards Instagram. So if you'd like to follow me on there, I am at Loopsies. But yeah, that's it for this week, guys. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.